everyone, Amy Love here, and I finally found some time to craft this afternoon, so I thought I'd come on and show you what I've been working on. I've actually been working on uh, some packaging things because I want to send out some happy mails, and I would like for everything to be as cute as it possibly can be. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing, and I have been having a ball. So let me uh, show you first this uh, bag topper that I created. Now I am not one usually to make um, bag toppers, but I love it when I get things in the mail that have bag toppers. So I got myself a bag topper die and I used it for the first time today and it's just so stinking cute. So this paper in the background is actually tilde paper, but this, um, this cutie patootie paper right here is um, a paper pad that uh, Kim actually gifted me last year and it is Stamperia Sweetie and I am loving every bit of it so thank you again Kim what a sweet sweet gift it is and I am enjoying it so um, I started by layering some lace and some pink uh, cup chain that I got from Angel Dream Crafts and then I fussy cut out some bits from the paper. I stickled them and then I put um, a couple of my butterflies here and there. And on this one, I did the same thing. You can get a better look at that cup chain here. Don't you love it? I absolutely love it. And I just glued that down with some glossy accents. Works like a champ. And um, more stickles and a couple more of my butterflies. So I just think the bag toppers are so cute. So let me set those over here try to keep them in frame because they're so cute so a few years ago my friend Deanna Marie hi Deanna I don't remember it feels like I don't remember how many years ago that was she sent me a gift um, and it had this cake slice box and I was like that is the cutest thing I've ever seen so um, since I was gifted a die cut machine by my uh, mother-in-law who has since passed, uh, I've been getting some dies and I even put, I put some to work today. So I did find a cake sli slice uh, box die. And so I created a couple of these little cake slice gift boxes and then I just decorated them up. So on the top of here are layers and layers of snippets from Angel Dream Crafts. And I'm gonna show you the laces that I used um, here in a minute because she has just laces that lend themselves so well to cutting into snippets. And so that's what I used in the background. And then this pink snippet is from an applique from her store. And then I added some bling. And then I added one of her sugar candy hearts, that's what I like to call them, in the middle of one of my paper bows they're so cute and then I added this adorable lace around the edge because it to me it looks like icing so I created a couple of those here's this one isn't it cute like I can't with how cute these are so thank you for the inspiration Deanna I love it so those are the little uh, cake slice boxes and then I was gifted these by Gail um, from Fava 4. Thank you, Gail. I am loving decorating these so much. So let me show you what I did. <laughs> They're adorable. So I used this, my favorite dangle lace from Angel Dream Crafts right here. I love to make tassels with it, but it was also the perfect size to dangle off the side of these tea boxes. And then I added a snippet from one of her leaf trims. This flower came from her shop. And then I added some pearls that I also got from her shop. And uh, she also has little bows. So I put a little bow there on the back. These are adorable. Aren't they just so cute? So you can put little gifts inside and they open from the bottom. So I did put open here just so you'd know because if I got it in the mail, I'd probably try to get in through the top. So <laughs> I put that there because I'd need it. <laughs> And so I made two of those. Aren't they cute? I added one of my little butterflies right there. So adorable. Absolutely love, love how these turned out. So let me show you some of the laces that I used. 
I don't think, I, well, this is all I have left of the applique uh, that I cut up to use. So I used that on the top here. I also made a couple of tags, um, which I think are so cute. And I just added a little snippet down at the bottom. So I just thought they're just sweet, right? They make the cutest little additions. So adorable. I love these. Um, yes. Uh, and I used this beautiful Clooney lace, which is kind of sad because I used that as a base on the top of these cake slices, which you literally cannot see it any longer. <laughs> but luckily I have enough of this left, so I don't feel too bad about it. And then these are some of just her fabulous snippets of um, laces. This dangle lace with the leaves, I love it. Um, that is what is coming off here. And then it's actually dangling down here on the top of that one. <laughs> one of my favorites, love, love. This lace right here, can we just talk? Well, I've cut, I've just cut so much of this off. This thing is amazing. I love these leaves i absolutely love them so uh, these leaves are actually what is on the top of these little uh, teapot boxes they're so cute and then the little flowers i mean it has flowers and leaves and then the big leaf i love love this trim so much wait let me put that off to the side then there is this big one look at how big this is and i think these might come in white, the ones I'm going to show you now, but I, I did some tea dyeing, so um, these have actually been dyed. But this one is full of flowers. Look at all the flowers on this. And I'm pretty sure some of these flowers are um, on the, the top of that cake slice. So cute. And then there is this one. Look at all the flowers on this thing. So some of these flowers are also on the top of this cake slice. So cute. I love the dimension that it adds to your projects. And then there is this one too. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And there's so many bits on here. I'm telling you, they're amazing. So I will put a link to the uh, Kim's Etsy shop below where you can get all the fabulous um, bits, crafty bits. And I also put a link below to all of the other designers who are currently um, on the team so you can see what they're working on and hopefully be inspired as they inspire me. And I hope that you liked my little, um, my little gift packaging um, <laughs> crafty bits. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I hope you are all doing well. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.